Whoops. Back. Wife was joking. <laughs> yeah. She does sometimes in her sleep. She starts coughing and then jokes. Mm. Did you go in there and punch her and say rude? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm talking to the bros. Rude. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm recording it here. <laughs> Well, I got them to stop saying cuss words, so I don't have to edit, and there you go, choking. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I gave up. That's another good reason to stop recording, because we can't stop G-swearing these days. <laughs> hey, I've been very good here lately, thank you. Yes, he has. Even, <laughs> I'm going to say, is that him being good, is it? <laughs> even, in my, uh, even in my GTA videos, I'm not cussing as much as I was. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> Every time you mention GTA, all I get is this picture of Joseph going right over the rails of the bridge mm. and sailing down towards the cable car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, poor best, Joseph. Best moment ever, that. <laughs> I just love that you had to go pick him up from the hospital. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> He got on the phone and he says, will you come and pick me up? And G's like, yeah, yeah, of course I will, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so ashamed. <laughs> Just in shock. <clears throat> Who knew you could break every bone in your body? <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew it was possible. I used to watch Evil Knievel all the time. <laughs> <laughs> So how many apartments would you say there are in the game then if you if you got to choose between them? A lot. Um when you go to the what is it, Delta Seven website or whatever it is. Um I think the, the, the website says there are currently like seventy five properties for sale in the Liber in the Los Santos area. Mm hmm Something like that. So, yeah, and how are the actual buildings lot. that you can go in normally? Or can you only go in them when you're renting them? Uh, the ones that I've seen, because I've only seen like four or five, they're just accessible when you actually rent them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're not like uh, Boham where you can walk in off the street through the door and up to the to the room. Right. Yeah, because once you rent it, it gives you a little blue circle out front that you walk into that teleports you inside. I suppose that's how they keep them private for each player, is it? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Keep people from coming in and griefing you and that kind of stuff. They're going to dump in your bullet. Shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Jeez, you keep bringing it up. I did it that one time. One time, man. <laughs> Wouldn't have minded so much if it's the little flag you put on top of it. <laughs> And the answer to the question is yes, duration is just the recording time, and then it turns itself off. Right. So it's not not the it's not a uh, splitting thing. Yep. So I would just have to remember to reach up there and turn it off and turn it back on every now and then. Well, I do. We, 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 even with fraps off, well, when I was recording, I used to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, every 30 minutes or so, I'd try to, like, put a stop start and, you know. Mm -hmm. 
or sometimes I'd do it after you know a particularly memorable funny bit or something, so I'd know where to look for it if I wanted that yeah. bit. Yeah, it's never an issue in any of my other recording. You know, my solo recording, it's never an issue because I'm constantly, you know, stopping the recording because it's like, okay, I'm gonna go over here to the safe house now and drive across town. So. If anything good happens along the way, I'll see y'all again. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's constantly being turned off and back on and everything. It's just whenever we're all playing together and then I get these long stretches of an <coughs> hour, two hours. <coughs> Excuse me. Nighttime. Okay. It is nighttime. I'm in bed. Alright, I'll log out for a second and then I will uh okay, time. go get my coffee and I'll be right back. So I just bred two more donkeys. Two, three, four, five, six donkeys that we have now. Oh, cool. Ooh. I wonder what donkey speed compares like to the horse speeds in the game, you know? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn silverfish, what so much knockback have you things got? Yeah, here we go, we're just being talked about how I'm cleaning up my language. <laughs> yeah, but when you keep getting knocked off cliffs by silverfish, <laughs> that's when the time to curse is appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody need slime balls? I've got about ten stacks of them now. Wow. Oh. And is that just coming from killing them while you're down in there? Yep. Wow. Roughly every time I come down, I end up coming back up with a stack full by the time mm -hmm. I'm finished. Um. Yeah. What you uh, want for? Um. For a stack of slime balls. Uh, mm -hmm. Enough to make a stack of pumpkin pie. Huh? See if I've got enough. I'm actually doing quite well now. I'm, I'm quite ahead, you know, I've got quite a good supply of food there, <coughs> but it's always good to get more supplied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At some point I'll have to buy a, a mule off you and then I can try taking it into the nether and putting it in the nether and use it for getting backwards and forwards in there. Speed portions are alright but they chew through your food. Huh. Alright, where are you at? Uh, I'm underneath my little cave base. I'll be right so, in just a second. You can, you can um, just take it in there and Drop it in the chest and take out a stack of slime balls from the mob loot chest that's to the side of it. Take out two stacks of slime balls if you want. Oh, yep, there's another big one and another medium one as well. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Well, each of the donkeys has a different speed, I will tell you that. Do they? Uh, yeah, I just had a donkey that only had about <clears throat> what, six hearts on it, or six little speed yeah, hearts, I guess, or whatever, and yeah, it wasn't very fast. And this one's got the full row and one plus. It's a little faster. That's its health, isn't it? That's not its speed. Or its health. Well, that's what I meant. It's its health, yeah. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a pretty good indicator, I think. Is it? I think so. Don't think he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> All right. 
stack of pumpkins. One pumpkins, one uh, reed, four six, eggs. Six, seven. Nine stacks of eggs. No, it's only four stacks of eggs. I just gave you nine stacks. No, <laughs> thank you kindly. Yep, I've got eggs coming out my ass right now. And I gave you about two more stacks, three more stacks of reed. Uh, we'll oh, be thank the you customary kindly. location. <laughs> How about I'll take this stack and this half stack. That's what I'll do. Yep. Oh, I'll no, take two full stacks because I'm honestly, I've, I'm bringing up another stack and a half already. Ah, okay. Come over here and check out my asses, and then you pick an ass out. I, ass. I, li I like small, tight ones. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to check out his ass last night, but it won't let two people in the shower at one time. <laughs> There's my ass. I couldn't figure out where my ass went. He wandered off. I didn't have a rope. Ah, you see, now G's got the spider farm, so we'll have plenty of string. And uh, we, you, I've got the slime, so we can have as many leads as we need now. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's something else for G to sell, other than fish, is string. <laughs> of course, I bet he's still not put his like three regular, graves in. I feel like a regular little gypsy. <laughs> you like to buy some fish, how about some string? <laughs> I think it ignored your comment. Mind yeah, you. I noticed. <laughs> My granddad used to do that. He was deaf in one ear, so he'd, he'd use it selectively. When he wanted to hear something, he would hear it all right. <laughs> it's been great. He used to say to my grand, you go in the shop. He says, I can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Time to call the herd again. No. Sitting outside the fence. Oh yeah, horses are much faster. At least that one was anyway. Yeah. But again, I kind of wonder if mules may, or the donkeys may be the best thing just for the fact that you can carry stacks of stuff back on them. Well, that's it. It depends. I mean, it depends on what you want I to be using so, yeah. them for. <clears throat> if you're just traveling through the nether, then fine. Yeah, you want the fastest thing. But if you're going to be going down there and loading yourself up, then you want to mm -hmm. that can carry your stuff back. But it's difficult for us because we can't get them into the nether from where we've got our portal because we can't get them down all them steps and everything down to the mm -hmm. basement. Another cow. I mean, though, when it's night time and you want to sleep. It's getting there. So, how do you make an ender chest? I've when. already forgotten. It's an eye of ender with a circle of obsidian around it. Obsidian, that's right. That's what I need. More obsidian. I've got a yeah, couple of stacks of that. Through. You can have some of that if you want. In bed. In bed. Well, I'll trade you a donkey or whatever you want for it for, a, I guess, a stack. Come and get it for you. I'll bring it across to you. We daylight again. Yep, yep. daylight, sorry. Yeah. Didn't notice you log out, sorry. Yeah, I'm actually <laughs> coming back to get my bed to bring it back, so... Slime blocks make great things for an automatic reed harvester because they bounce the reed towards the water stream that you want, so they're, they're great for uh, for that. Much better than pi just the pistons by themselves. Food check. You can there? Um, 
Obsidian. Is there anything else you think you might need? Might be able to supply you with? You need sand? Um, <coughs> Excuse me again. Think. I think I'm good on sand right now. You're alright for wood, for coal? I may need some wood later, I don't know, again, as I'm working on the back end, I'll probably need some, but I don't know what types I'm going to use right now. Alright, okay. Red stain clay, brown clay, orange clay, hardened clay. Good some on of clay them. right now. A very little amount. Same thing, I don't know what I'm going to need right now for that. Okie dokie. Would you like some redstone? Or nether quartz? Ooh, Do you need nether quartz? Redstone. Ah, I much still got all that nether quartz you gave me I haven't used yet. Alright. Hello? Do you need some redstone? No, no, I'm good. It's a joke. Yeah, <laughs> I figured so. <laughs> right, well, in that case, then I'll just bring over the uh, obsidian. Oh, well, uh, thanks. <coughs> That. What's the recipe for magma cream? It's um Oh magma cream, yeah that's that and it's either it's ender pearls we need. Yeah, I've got two ender uh, I have enders right now. Yeah. I've only got two I I've only got two ender pearls here. So that's no use to you yet. Okay, I'll just come with that then. You know, my favourite thing I've built is this rope bridge. I just love it. Going across, it's just <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Silly, but it's, it's by far my favourite thing. Well, only just beats the yellow brick road because I like the, the scenery on the yellow brick road. But ah. <sighs> All right now. So to build a spider spawner, how high? All you, all you need is um, to to build the room, uh, say three blocks higher than the spawn than the than the spawner height. Okay, I think it naturally is that. Yeah, because okay. they can spawn in the in the one air block above, and they're only one block tall, so they can't okay. can't spawn above that. All right, so it's naturally already three higher, so we're good there. That's great. Yep. Now to the sides, they can spawn up to four blocks away, and they're two blocks wide. So really, with a spider spawner, you want the wa the walls roughly six blocks away in every direction. Got six away. Okay. But that does mean that you can't actually turn it off with lights unless you put a load of lights in the ceiling. And, mm -hmm. But, I mean, you, you don't need to because they're only going to be active when you're actually there. And then all, all you need to do then is just drop it down, say, four blocks into a water stream and then just sweep them forward into one wall where you've got okay. all cactus. In front of the cactus you put uh, hoppers connected into each other because like I said they can spawn um, a skeleton surrounding them so you have to make sure there's no room for the skeleton to squeeze through even though the spiders can't because I made mine when I made it I didn't think about the spider jockeys so I made it with just the, the cactus in one straight line and a gap mm -hmm. between them all and then, of course, sometimes they die and the skeleton and walk through between the gap. And <laughs> <laughs> that'd be it, so. Six, okay. So six in every direction. It does mean you, you have to get a bit clever with the water flow at the bottom to get it to flow right into a jagged tooth between the... Uh, between the cactus, but I'm sure you can figure that out. Sure. 